Okay, so in uh, this example, we have to deal with a typical Poisson distribution where we have four plates uh, where we count bacteria. And what we count is whether there is an event, there is an occurrence, i.e. a colony is growing or not. So here we have our four plates with the bacterial colonies. And we can use the uh, Poisson equation to find out what our true population mean is if we did this experiment a lot of times. So if we had basically an infinite amount of plates. And uh, what we want to do is calculate this 95% confidence interval. So we can calculate uh, our um, true mean and what we do is we take the count uh, plus minus 1.96 times the square root of the count. And we then have to, of course, divide everything by uh, the number of the plates that we have. So in this case, we have 32 plus 51 plus 109 plus 41 and uh, this gives us a total of 233 colony that we observe on these four plates. Uh, so we have 233 plus minus 1.96 square root of 233. So this one gives here 15 point, I need to get the calculator out because I can't do the square roots in my head. So that's 15.26. So we have 233 plus minus 1.96 times 15.29. That gives us 29.9. That is roughly 30 uh, colonies. So our range here would be from 203, that's minus the 30, to 263. Because we've got four plates, we need to divide this by four each. And 203 divided by 4, this gives us uh, roughly 50, 51 colonies. I just round up. And 263 divided by 4, that gives us 66 colonies. So we would expect that the true mean for true mean for the average of all plates that we can come up is somewhere between 51 and 66 colonies. Or in other words, we would not be terribly surprised if we found between 51 and 66 colonies or as an average if we did that loads and loads of times. Now, what we probably will argue is that, well, if we look at this range, we only have uh, really one plate that is within this range here, that's this 51. All the other plates have a different number. Well, that is true, but let's not worry about that because what we have here, the true mean, is that is what we expect in the long run if we did this experiment a lot and lot of times. If we take a snapshot, this, as we have done here, this might be very, very different. So don't worry if your observations, the snapshot is slightly different from what you would calculate for the true mean. I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.